So Bears fans certainly got some interesting news. A bit of a bombshell dropped on him making the rounds on Thursday. Ted Phillips, Bane Cotton Ted himself, smacking on some salami, I'm sure, as he helped craft the message. And the Bears organization sent out a note talking about they had put in a bid on the Arlington International Racetrack in Arlington Heights, Illinois. <laughs> Why would they do that, you ask? All in the name of trying to get a new stadium deal done. Oh boy! Time to talk about leverage! <laughs> so as you can imagine, this is big news in Chicago, big news on the Bears internet, Bears social media, as it rightfully should be. The Chicago Bears have played in Soldier Field since 1971 after playing for almost five decades at Wrigley Field. Soldier Field became their official home in 71, and that's what they played for the last 15 years when it was a Roman Coliseum, when they had fucking AstroTurf there to when they decided they were going to drop a spaceship right in the middle of the Roman Coliseum like it took a huge fucking shit. To give us that mediocre ass stadium, second rate stadium that they frickin' have today. That, 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 that's what we're talking about here. And, you know, this is eliciting a lot of reactions. You know, some people talking about uh, the need for a new stadium, because there absolutely is one, because the one they have sucks. Um, some talking about, you know, What's Arlington Heights? You're talking about being, what, an hour away from the city? You're no longer going to be on the lakeshore. You're not going to be there in downtown Chicago. Like, it feels a little different, a bit of a departure. It's awkward to say they're the Chicago Bears, and yet they'll be playing, would be playing in Arlington Heights. And then thinking about the travel and game experience, especially for those in Chicago itself. Like, what's that going to be like compared to the city of Chicago? Like, all these different things that everybody's talking about. And then they're talking about the uh, res the message, the statement that was put out by Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot and all of her infinite wisdom. <laughs> calling out the Bears for this being a negotiation ploy. Calling out the Bears and say, be nice for them to get back to beating the Packers and playing some relevant football past October. <laughs> and of course, a lot of people are shitting on her. Even though, frankly, a lot of what she said isn't exactly off the mark. It doesn't mean that it was a good idea to put it out there. No, that was actually kind of fucking stupid. It's kind of overplaying your hand a little bit. Well, they have a lease through the city through, a, I think it's 2033 or some shit like that. We got the power here is basically how she's trying to come off. Hey, you ain't got power over shit, bitch. Like, sit, sit down and shut the fuck up. But... You know, people are talking about this and debating this. And I want to address some things here first. To those clowns that sit there and think Soldier Field is great, shut up. It's second rate. To those of you that talk about, there's a lot of history there. A lot of losing, crappy Bears football history. Why the fuck would you want to hang on to that? Huh? Huh? Ha! Ah! Makes no goddamn sense. Why be sentimental over shitty memories? That's stupid. If you're one of those that says, well, the Bears and Packers, you know, they play outdoors. They do their identity of the black and blue division. It's not even the fucking black and blue division anymore. There used to be the black and blue division when it was the NFC, NFL, or the NFC Central, excuse me, and you had Tampa fucking Bay in there too. That was more of when it was the black and blue division. And when you talk about the Green Bay Packers, yes, I know they play in an outdoor stadium like the Bears do. But they play in a stadium that that city and that organization and the NFL can be proud of in fucking Lambeau Field. That stadium has a lot of history because there's been a lot of championship history there spread out throughout many decades of since they've been playing there. And this whole notion of, well, you put them in a dome or in a retractable roof stadium, it takes away the toughness. Who gives a fuck about toughness? I want to win goddamn championships. Even the Packers and their organization. Yes, they play outside, but they have an offense first mindset. Like everything about Chicago Bears and Chicago Bear fandom is so dated backwards and just fucking ignorant, hard-headed, and stupid. 
I know some of you are going to say the Bears even ha haven't even had the stadium for 20 years. Well, you know what? When you have a dipshit like Bean Count and Ted leading the negotiations, you end up with a half-ass stadium renovation and rebuild like what the fuck you got with Soldier Field. And just because it's less than 20 years old doesn't mean that they don't need a new actual state-of-the-art modern one that you can actually be proud of, not that abomination and abortion that they got. It doesn't change that fact, because that is absolutely true. You never got a right to begin with, so it was always going to be a fucking problem. And eventually those chickens are going to come home to roost. And then you talk about the thing of, well, you know, I don't beat football, I don't run a dome. Just again, shut the hell up. You're so dumb, who gives a crap? So it happens when you can't focus on championship contending, championship winning football. You focus on that bullshit that doesn't matter. Who gives a crap? Some of you are going to say, well, you know, you build a new stadium, like, it has a problem here because you're going to expect the city or that area to put up a lot of the money and then they're not going to make that money back. Like, that's an interesting discussion. You have plenty of examples of that with stadium deals over the years where it's not nearly as much of a financial windfall directly as it's made out to be. And I, and I fundamentally understand that, and I actually kind of agree with it. Like you got to be careful when talking about that. Now, there is still a piece when you talk about economic impacts and directly related economic impacts to events that you can hold in that stadium. Like when you do think about what Soldier Field can't host right now, it doesn't host Super Bowls, doesn't host Final Fours, doesn't host WrestleManias and other like WWE Big Four events. Um, they do miss out on millions and millions of dollars every year coming back to the city in terms of economic impact from people traveling for these different events. It's absolutely true. Like Indianapolis every five, six years seems to get a fucking Final Four. Leave it to the state of Illinois to be so goddamn stupid to say, no, we don't want to build anything that could actually support that here. Let's go, let it go to our neighboring state and let them get the economic benefits from that. I asked such an Illinois, such a goddamn Chicago thing to do. It's freaking crazy. Yeah, maybe you don't make the money back immediately, but you can make it back in time. And that's also where it's incumbent upon you as a city to make sure you negotiate some type of deal that is beneficial to you. Where you're not just dropping all of your pants for the team. I know teams in this situation can have a lot of leverage, but trust me, you're dealing with the fucking McCaskies and Bean Count and Ted. You're staring across from Bean Count and Ted and yuck, yuck, Goofy George here. How much leverage do you think they even have? How much leverage do you even think they believe they have? How much do you even think they would know how to exercise any of that fucking leverage? And let's be clear here. All of this news about Arlington Heights and the fucking horse track and that property and all that other bullshit, this is just freaking leverage. It is exactly that. That doesn't mean that they wouldn't potentially pursue it or that they wouldn't potentially build a stadium there someday. That absolutely could happen. Do I fully, completely believe it at this point? No, I really don't. I really, really don't. Because I wonder how much Arlington Heights would actually be willing to step up to the table to fund this. And knowing the Bears and their cheap asses, you know, they're not going to want to invest a ton of money into this project. Nor would they necessarily have a ton of money to invest in this damn project. So their longer term option is probably a better option for them to stay in Chicago and actually build a real deal retractable roof stadium like a smart, modern NFL fucking franchise does. That's what you should be doing. Not that hard. There's a part of me, I must say cynically, that I wonder how much they lowballed on the bid. Because this isn't the first time you brought, they brought up the Arlington Heights site. This isn't the first time that this has been talked as a possibility over decades. Hallis was cheap with them before, didn't get the fucking deal done because the financials didn't make sense in the 70s. You know, when you were talking about before you ended up with the UFO that took a shit in the Roman Coliseum, like the fucking Arlington Heights was discussed then, and of course nothing happened there either. Like, this is an attempt by an organization that doesn't know what the hell they're doing to exercise leverage that they think they have, but they're too stupid to even actually potentially leverage and realize. If they were to move to Arlington Heights, good. Whatever. If they stay in Chicago, good. Whatever. 
when it comes to them potentially moving to Arlington Heights in years to come. Like, I will truly believe it when I see it because they've had this opportunity before and they kept coming back to, we want to be by the lake. We want to sit there and be in the city of Chicago and all that other dumb shit that really doesn't matter at the end of the day. And for those of you that think Soldier Field is just fine, you're crazy. You're nuts. And some of you have probably actually been there for games. It might be okay, but it's certainly not state of the goddamn art and certainly not something you should be holding up as any type of beacon of a modern NFL franchise's stadium. Like when you look at some of the other places and some of the other venues throughout the league, you see first class type of shit. The Bears Stadium, in part, just due to how long it's been there since the renovation. You talk about almost damn near 17, 18 years now. And the lack of amenities and features compared to other stadiums that have been built in the past few years. Like, it's an embarrassment. It's a second, third-rate stadium. It absolutely is. And maybe, just maybe, if they more consistently cared about winning, did the right things to actually try to win more and actually won more, Maybe it wouldn't matter so much. But when your organization fucking sucks and your team consistently sucks and has far more years that it doesn't make the playoffs than it does, then we're left talking about these loser-ass topics. It doesn't really matter. It really doesn't. They put in a bid. It doesn't even mean they end up with the property. And then what? Like, was it an awkward play? that they announced it in public, eh, it's probably a bit of trying to get ahead ahead of the story. Part of it is also trying to play the game in public with uh, leadership in Chicago, uh, specifically Mayor Lightfoot. Um, and that's a big part of it for sure. But, you know, now you're just getting to a place where the incompetence facing off against the incompetent and you, nothing's good <laughs> got to come out of it. I'm assuming for now... The Bears are still locked into at least for another decade plus. Why would the city of Chicago do anything to renegotiate with them? Why would they? I mean, are the, would the Chicago Bears actually move to another city in another state? Why the fuck would they ever do that? Who the hell would even want them? Like, there are certain teams, there are certain organizations, there are certain cities that are too embedded into the culture of their place that they can't feasibly leave and expect it to do anything good for them in the long term. Now, certainly other organizations over the years have said that and they've watched, those cities have watched as their teams have left. But, eh. And as far as the whole thing of, I want to stay in Chicago. I don't want to do fucking play in Arlington Heights. So the team that originally started off as the Decatur Staley's and played in Decatur, Illinois, and has had their team headquarters, Hallis Hall, in Lake Forest, Illinois, for decades, um, yeah, it's a problem that they play their games outside of Chicago. Oh, shut up. <laughs> 